hey, you know what? I'm starting my new job next month. Great. Congratulations. I'm so excited. No more studies now. No more exams. And I'll be earning my own money. Isn't that great? Yeah, only now you'll be making time for your study along with work. Okay. Yep, to prepare for certifications or any focus areas, you'll be making time along with work. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. So nobody told you about this in college, huh? Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Swati and I work as a cloud consultant with Google. In this video, you might have read from the title, I'm going to share some important, actually very simple yet important corporate lessons which no one told you in your college. So these lessons I have also learned over these years working in IT. So I thought why not share it with you all. I really feel it could be helpful for someone who is going to start their journey in corporate or maybe have been here for a while. So it could definitely help you in excelling at your work. So let's get started. Alright, so before that, I really wanted to thank you all for the overwhelming response on my first video on YouTube. I'm really glad that I could add some value to you through my content and you found it useful. So thank you so much for the overwhelming response. I definitely plan to bring out more valuable content on this channel. So do subscribe. Alright, so lesson number one goes like, college ends but learning not. So I'll share how I came to learn about this and what can we do to implement it at our work. So freshly coming out of college, when you first start your job, your first job definitely gives you that sense of liberty, right? Uh, it is like a first step towards your independent life. You're mostly earning for the first time. You're able to buy things on your own. You're traveling to new places, meeting new people, having parties, and which is all super fun, right? But then there's another aspect to it as well. Now the college is over. There's no more need for the overnight studies, for the exams. There won't be any more exams. And you have got your degree. But solely that degree and the knowledge you gain in those four years is not going to be sufficient for the rest of the years of your career, right? You have to keep learning and upskilling yourself. Now the other thing is, since the college is over now, nobody is going to come and say, you know, you have to learn these things. Or like, this is your curriculum for the next six months. And you have to focus on these topics. No, nobody is going to come and say these things. You yourself will have to take charge of your learning now. You yourself will have to come up with a plan, maybe for coming weeks or coming months, that I need to learn these topics or I need to focus on these technologies for my work or maybe just for my learning. So you yourself will have to take charge of your learning now. So for that, upskilling is really important. Now I'll share how I came to learn about this lesson. So when I started my first job, even I was also having super fun. At that time, I didn't realize the importance of upskilling. But then one day I saw my manager, uh, he was preparing for his certification. It was a tech certification and making out time for his self-learning along with all the project work that we had. So that kind of really motivated me, you know, that it doesn't matter how much senior you are in the hierarchy, you still have to keep learning and upskill yourself. So that's when I realized uh, the importance of upskilling and uh, realized that it is uh, upskilling only that is going to help me in growing and to stand out from the rest of the people in the room. Okay, so let's discuss some of the ways to which we can upskill ourselves along with all the project work. Now, along with the project work, it 
gets difficult at times to make out time for a self learning but if you set a certain target for yourself uh, it will definitely motivate you to make gradual progress maybe not every day maybe just the alternate day or just on the weekends but you will get a constant motivation to make gradual progress right now within the project you can uh, identify certain areas which you have no knowledge about certain technologies which you have no knowledge about or maybe you have some knowledge but you might need better understanding of those topics for better implementation at your work so in this way you can identify certain tools or technologies which you might uh, need to learn now you can enroll for certain trainings within your organization or look for an online course on different platform there are many platforms like coursera or udemy you can look for some online courses uh, for your respective technology or maybe just look out for some videos online on youtube or just the blogs maybe if you are looking for specialization in a certain area you can target a certification so in this way you can set a target and make gradual progress and this will definitely help you in constant learning and upskilling yourself all right so this was about lesson number 1 moving to lesson number 2 so this one even i have learned the hard way and in fact i'm still learning but i really feel this is like one of the most important lesson to sustain and excel in corporate world so the lesson goes like ask for what you deserve so many a times even while we are delivering our good work and putting a lot of effort in a certain project we feel shy away in highlighting our achievements or accomplishments we feel like bragging ourselves but uh, i really feel in corporate you have to show your work you have to discuss with your manager okay so i have put this much hard work or this much extra effort in achieving this goal in achieving this deliverable and in case you feel like you deserved uh, some rewards or uh, recognition for this one you might need to ask for that you might need to ask for that raise so every time no one is going to come and say you know you did this work really good and i'm going to pay you more or i'm going to promote you you might have to be your own cheerleader and ask for what you deserve so that's why i say ask for what you deserve be your own cheerleader and show your work all right so moving to lesson number 3 which is it is okay to say no to work so i'll tell you where this comes from so when i started my first job i remember i used to accept all the work coming my way irrespective of i am already overwhelmed with work our plate is already full maybe i used to feel like this is how the culture is or maybe i used to feel intimidated in saying no to work and which ultimately led to lesser productivity and poor work life balance for me now i really feel that seniors have an important role to play here but it's okay if you are self aware you can handle the situation more graciously so with experience i felt like i might need to say no to some work i might need to discuss with my manager that my plate is already full i might not be able to accommodate more work and most of the time if you discuss with your manager or your team they will understand so that's why i say it is okay if you say no work to at times it is okay if you can't work over weekends it is okay if you don't want to sit for extra hours after your work day you have to set boundaries to preserve your work life balance so this was about the last lesson these were the lessons i wanted to share with you all which i feel can help you in excelling at your work now there might be other experiences in your career journey that might ha have helped you in thriving at your work please do share them in the comments and i'll try to make a part 2 of this video so i'll end the video here i hope you might have found it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time bye bye